the final product you've earlier shared the topographical raw data as received from the surveyor in the WG format this is now the civil works design still also in the WG format uh, the design is complete and this is the output you can see the beacon these are contour lines with the various heights so this we're looking at 1720.65 this is 1720.60 to mean generally this is higher and that kind of thing so um, we'll have all the details here where the beacons are as you can see um, the storm water drain in civil works the aim is to all to always have the drainages use uh, utilize gravitational flow without any pumping so we'll uh, use the contour slopes for instance our drain our land is generally sloping this side that you can see so that is the, the direction of flow of the storm water that is the design slope we have all the details even uh, for this this is supposed to be a driveway so we'll uh, specify the material like the paving blocks popularly known as curb road that will be utilized the location of the road it's a nine nine meter wide road mm. you can even see the manholes the sewer manholes that will be draining the house the specs for the pipes required the slopes the number of manholes the driveway I will have storm water, the direction of flow, the pipe required, cut off drains if necessary. Until the final destination that can be a sewer treatment plant or septic tank in areas that are not connected to the trunk sewer system. So basically this is what a civil works layout will look like. But this is not all because we also have um, items called profiles that will be generated from this and we'll share that we'll share that later on now it was just to go over the layout and see what is included what it looks like in general for you guys to understand This, these are the profiles, these are sewer profiles developed from the civil works layout earlier shared with you guys. This shows the number of manholes we'll have, their locations, their depths to which they will be excavated, and their locations. So we have the chainage, this just shows where it will be, the level of the existing ground level, the invert level, that is the top of the the pipe, the manhole depth, the pipe size, the pipe slope, and the manhole number. So you can see one, two, three, and so forth. Uh, the diameter of the pipe is uniform in this size so it will cut across all those manholes and this is what you would expect the profiles to look like um, so the sewer profiles if they vary they'll have different numbers this is just one sewer profile the difference is that uh, the change in direction will uh, necessitate them to to have different lengths in total so this is your profile one still see your profile one and see your profile one as you can see the number of manholes vary across the profiles because when the when the direction changes we'll have a different profile from that corner usually we are looking at about 30 meter lengths 
before we have another manhole or unless there's a change in direction then we, we put another manhole.